Here in Israel, U.S. President Donald Trump paid a historic visit to the Jewish state. As Israel hosted him, the terrorist murder of kids in the U.K. underscored Israel's own security concerns. The Manchester massacre changed the landscape of a carefully crafted series of meetings. It was also a reminder of the Palestinian terror ties in the heart of the Middle East. At his meeting with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in Bethlehem, the president altered his prepared remarks. The terrorists and extremists and those who give them aid and comfort must be driven out from our society forever. Following his strong speech against terrorism in Saudi Arabia, President Trump was fired up over the carnage in Manchester. This is what I've spent these last few days talking about during my trip overseas. Our society can have no tolerance for this continuation of bloodshed. We cannot stand a moment longer for the slaughter of innocent people. And in today's attack, it was mostly innocent children. This was clearly not the script Abbas had written for his time in Bethlehem with the president, but it was tailor-made for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who has tried to make the West understand that Israel cannot compromise its security on the front lines of the terrorist war, sometimes conducted by Palestinians. Just last week, CBN News reported on the Palestinian practice of paying terrorist salaries with U.S. tax dollars and naming town squares after suicide bombers. Itamar Marcus of Palestinian Media Watch says one such terrorist was Abu Sukar, known as the refrigerator bomber. What did he do to make himself famous? He took a bomb, he took a refrigerator, brought it to Ben Yehuda Street in the center of Jerusalem, uh, filled it with explosives, and it detonated, killing 15 Israelis. So that makes him a Palestinian hero, and there's a square in his name. Basically, anyone who's killed a large number of Israelis is presented by the Palestinian leadership as a hero to their people. From Bethlehem, the president moved on to Yad Vashem, Israel's memorial to victims of the ultimate act of mass terrorism, the Holocaust. Two-thirds of the Jews in Europe were sent to their deaths. Words can never describe the bottomless steps of that evil or the scope of the anguish and destruction. A sometimes visibly moved Netanyahu thanked the president on behalf of the Israeli people. Mr. President, over the years, Israel has had many friends, but Israel has never had and will never have a better friend than the United States of America. Israelis have experienced firsthand the hatred and terror of radical violence. Israelis are murdered by terrorists wielding knives and bombs. Hamas and Hezbollah launch rockets into Israeli communities where school children have to be trained to hear the sirens and to run to the bomb shelters with fear, but with speed. ISIS targets Jewish neighborhoods, synagogues, and storefronts. And Iran's leaders routinely call for Israel's destruction. Not with Donald J. Trump. Believe me.